Hey guys, it's Lego Train 489 again, and we have two H scale locomotives. These are switchers. Um, C B and Q. This is a C B and Q locomotive, and this is a Abney and Rockfish, the blue one right here. Abney and Rockfish has been around. I don't know how many years. Maybe 70, 100 years or so. I don't know. I have to look it up. But they have steam engines actually, steam locomotives. I actually have an Aberdeen, Aberdeen Rockfish steam locomotive. It actually runs really good, actually. I need to do a view on it next, if you guys want to see that. But, uh, let's move the Aberdeen Rockfish down so you can see the, um... We'll get back to that one on a separate video, actually. Uh, it needs an all oh, special video. I just want to put these together so you guys can see it. But these are the handrails right here that I'm pointing at. These are, um... For the crew to hold on to when they're coming down the steps. They're made out of plastic. If you see right there. Those handrails are actually very, very flexible. So they can actually um, be flex in the, when you bump them. Which is better than metal because they won't break that easily. And the Burlington um, signage... Um, Looks really good. There's a lot of molded in detail. This hatch actually, why it has a crack in it, um, it's because this actually pops off so you can see the decoder and stuff and you can check on the wiring and stuff. Actually, I can demonstrate that right now. See, it pops right off. That's all the wiring and stuff. Yeah, it looks kind of... It's a whole separate piece. You see? Whole separate piece. It has a lot of lot of detail, a lot of rivet detail. There's the smokestack. If this was the smoking oak move, poof out all that smoke. <laughs> like on my Challenger, remember? That Challenger I reviewed uh, too long ago? That thing is still, like, a, like a, a, runs great. It's funny. <laughs> that thing is so big, it's hard to get on the track. So many wheels. That's the, that's the downfall of the Challenger. It's just the wheel, so many wheels. Not really. I'm just making a joke. Um, this is the front handrails. Um, they're actually same, made out of the same stuff. It's plastic. There's um the um front handrails. Um, these are also made out of plastic. Most of this is all plastic. There's very little metal. The fuel tank is actually metal. It's actually metal. I just noticed that. Uh, there's um, down near the coupler is um, this is a plastic coupler. Uh, I wish it was metal, but I could always change it out for a metal coupler. There's a lot. There's MU cables. These are MUs. That's so they can hook up to another locomotive. They actually can communicate. It's really cool. And also there's a little air hose right here. If you see me dangling it, yeah, let's pull the track off so you guys can flip it around. But that's a air hose. That's so they can, can the air co the the air hose is used to connect the air lines to the cars. The locomotives provide air for the braking system. There's some more MU cables right there with silver tip ends. I love that silver tip end look. The coupler. It's spring loaded actually. If you see. These are um these are little drop plates so you can actually Get from, so the crew can get from one locomotive to the next. Here's some really nice molded in detail. Great. Like, it's not molded in, but it's like, I don't know what they, better, um, like etched plastic pieces. They're actually really nice. Uh, number boards, they don't light. I wish they did. Number, uh, light, lit, uh, headlight. That thing actually is, these are incandescent bulbs. They are not, well, the, they look good, but they are not that good of a bulb because they burn out easily. I'm going to replace those with LEDs someday when I put sound in this locomotive. Let me... Uh, the carpet's not making that easy um, making that easy to just turn around. But here's the back end. Some more MU cables. Um, some... There's the air hose right there. Some steps. They're actually, hold on, oops, butterfingers, um, oh, wrong way, there we go, now you can see, <laughs> the, 
they actually um are at, um plastic. They're met. Uh, they're etched plastic pieces. You can actually they're see through. Actually, Grandma, get a top view. Get it like a top view. If you look, they're actually see through. You see, they have little holes. Uh, so are the um the steps. If you see the steps. Oh, uh, Grandma, you're there. There we go. Um, see the steps right there, and then there's the handrails for the um for the crew to get in, and there's the um I the door. The water can drain through, so it doesn't. Yes. Not slippery. Yes. Um, the back handrails, and there's uh like a little place right there. I don't know what that's for. So if anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. Uh, there's the sand filler hatches. That is for um, filling sand. Locomotives like this use sand to get traction. They spray sand on the rails to get traction. It's really cool. Here, let me take my hat off because it's giving me a headache. But there is the antenna. Yeah, the antenna looks really good. That's um, that's what they communicate. We can communicate with the um, crew, with dispatch and stuff. Inside, here, let me see if I can shine the light in there. You can see the inside of the locomotive has um detail. That is um very cool. I wish there was a crew in there, but there isn't. Here, let me actually flip it around real quick so you guys can actually see inside. There we go. Now you guys can see. Out of the way, <laughs> train tracks. But yeah, that is all um, the detail inside of the cab. <clears throat> There's more number boards right there. We're um, working headlights. They're incandescent bulbs. They they are. Um, I think I might need to replace them. I don't know. They probably bur are they burnt out? I think. But there's oh, metal windshield wipers. Little windshield wipers. It's a windshield wipers. I never noticed that actually. No, I just noticed it now. Um, the door. The door is molded in. So. Oh, there's a little latch. Look at that. There's a little latch right there. Hold on, let me get my. Hand there. It's a little latch right there. See? That's where they get in the locomotive. It's really cool. Oh, those are those little round things right there are actually marker lights, but they don't they're patched up. Most people actually um most locomotives used to, a long time ago used to use marker lights. Here, let's go to the front end. Let's see if we can find some more interesting detail. Ooh, look at that. More alarm more marker lights. That's glaring. Hold on. Yeah, let's just take that over there for now. Let me turn it off. More marker lights. I'm covered. Oh, hold on. There's some. There. See the um. Yeah, let's get really close. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. Blinded myself actually too. See, look the. You see the um. See the. Molded in detail. Is that beautiful? Those are actually doors. If you guys are wondering, that's so they can look at the engine and, and stuff. They oh, here's some um, grab irons. That's so they can climb up onto the locomotive's top. Up here is another one on top. Right there. There's one right there. Here, there we go. That is a uh, grab iron, grab iron, and then. Like ground bars down here. There's actually one right there. But yeah, that's the Burlington Nor uh, Burlington engine. Uh, I almost said Burlington Northern. That's another railroad. <laughs> My bad. Um, what well, underneath is actually really detailed too. There's the um fuel tank. It's actually metal, I think. Yeah. This, this. Could be plastic. It could be a metal weight in there. So yeah, that's the Bonton engine. Here, let's do my um, CF7 now. Oh, my arm. 
get on the daggum track, you. Okay, thank you. This is a Abney Rockfish CF7. If you guys are wondering, it's 2486. It's 100% real locomotive. I seen it in person. What a beautiful locomotive. It runs so well. Um, it is over 70 years old, I think. I have to look it up. But yeah, um, there's the um, there's the handrails. This one has handrails all the way down the locomotive. There's some very beautiful, um, um, beautifully done lettering. Actually, this is not to come from the company like this. This is actually one of the two custom painted locomotives that they um, that um, somebody did. This is mine, actually. This is 100% mine. I bought this from a guy. He's actually very nice. You might see him in some of my videos on YouTube at the train club. Um, he actually, I actually bought this for like, how much grandma? I don't know. Can't remember. But it's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. But this is, doesn't come like this. The paint job, they don't have a paint job like this in, uh, in this locomotive, with this locomotive. This is custom, all 100% custom. Like I said, there's only two. Of these locomotives painted like this, ever made, just two. These are rare. This is one, one in the kind, two of the kind locomotives. This is why it's so special. That's why I saved it for last. Here's the horn. It's a um, RS five T, which is a um, I could um, I was gonna put DCC and I have DCC in this locomotive by the way, but I'm gonna put sound in it. There's the um, there's some more grabs. The grab irons. There's the, the nicely done logo. Abney and Rockfish. Um, rear um, rear rear pilot looks great. There might not be any detail down here, which I need to do. That's that's one of the things I need to do. Um, but the coupler is plastic. The um, the handrails are very sturdy. Sometimes the stanchions pop out, but you just pop them back in. It's really annoying sometimes. It's really funny. Go, oh, there goes the goes there goes the stanchion. No, not really. Nothing popped out. But there's the headlight. It actually works. There's another RS five T or RS three. I don't know. Somebody let me know. I think it's um supposed to be have RS five. There is the um radio um the um there. What is it called? Lots of words. Um, air conditioner unit. There it is. Um, there is the um, there's a platform for the radio antenna. Lots of nice detail. There's another grab iron. There's a sand filler hatch. There's some marker lights, which are covered up. Get some really good look, close up look. It's a small engine, but it's powerful. It's 1500 horsepower. There's the 2486 number right there. There's um, wind, um, sunshades. No cab interior. 2486 up here. Um, underneath is uh, pretty basic. You can see the flywheel in there. I just poked myself with the, with the pen. It, it goes on the track pretty well. I'm just gonna give you a slow rotation. There's some more sand filler. There's another sand filler hatch. Or, no, that's not a sand filler hatch. I don't think so. Wait, is it? Let me get a close up. I think it is actually. I don't really don't know what that part is. So if anyone knows what that part is in there, let me know. The top is kind of bland. Yeah, let's flip it around. I'll give you a slow drive by. Oh, there's the sand flavor hatch. Some really nice rivet detail right there. Yeah, 
you can see it's custom painted because it has a little red right there. That lets me know it's that, um, that is custom. It's a custom paint job. So, like I said, there's only two of these ever painted like this. The other guy is that um the other guy he's very nice he owns a hobby shop here in town he has the other one I have this one and I still need to get my collection my roster up I do have an Aberdeen and Rockfish steam locomotive which I want to do a review on I haven't done it yet because I'm still doing a little bit of tuning to it I want to add a little more stuff to it like maybe. Well, this is um Lego Train four eight nine, and um, well, yeah, um, but yeah, this is um I forgot to show you guys how it runs. I'm gonna start with the CS seven and power her up. Headlight. Yeah, she runs very smooth. She's a little noisy, but not bad. Better than nothing. Oh, cut out. Yeah, it's not the locomotive itself, it's the track. The track has electrical issues. Sometimes it wants to cut out on me. Move her forward for the camera again. If she had a horn, I'll blow it for you guys. The RS5T is very loud, so. When I put sound in it, I'm gonna have it. Oh, I'm gonna have the volume up pretty high. I'll be doing some switching in the yard. But yeah, that one is a runner. Actually, before I put the other one on, if you see, see how fast it goes. I had to grab it because I don't want to run off the track. See how fast it goes. This one was having issues with that. I don't know why. But it was having issues. It only the train only ran about that fast at full speed. That's it. Maybe a little faster, like that. Now it doesn't do that anymore. That was only only like fit, like ten percent throttle. Look how fast it goes now. Watch. But yeah. Off the track, huh? That's why, um, that's why I have HF scale because it's much easier to put on the track. <laughs> but yeah, it has a headlight. I'm just gonna do a drive, a slow drive, slowly by. Head towards the camera. And yet again, this one doesn't have sound, so I need to put sound in this thing. So, to get it to run correctly, I had to reprogram it. And then, after that, I actually um, took the trucks off, to took them apart, cleaned them up from with alcohol. I put, uh, what is it called? I put, what? Isopropyl. Like 91%. Alcohol. And I actually cleaned them up, put them back in. And then I um, start, I had my papa solder resolder the wires onto the trucks, and put them back together, and it runs just fine now. It runs actually perfect. It runs as fast as my S Norfolk Southern SD forty two. It runs beautifully. I mean, this thing is going to be pulling like maybe six cars in the yard, shunting freight around. It's going to be amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> well, there's your problem. Get over here. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't hurt the locomotive. If it derails like that. It's on carpet, so. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Better not. Oh, by the way, this these two locomotives are made by, if you guys are new to model railroading, these two locomotives are made by this company called Atherin. This is Atherin Ready to Roll.
This is the box from the CB and Q. I have three Athen Ready to Rolls. Actually, four. 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 These two, I, um, AC4400, which I'm working on right now. And, um, because I'm putting DCC and sound in it. That's my goal. And then I have Amtrak, which is, I got DCC and sound installed, which was custom. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is Lego Train 489 out. But, hold on. Let me know if you guys want to, um, see those locomotives, the, um, the two other Anthem Ready Tools, and that Mikado Steam Locomotive, the Avenue Rockfish Steam Locomotive on my next videos. This is Lego Train 489 out.